What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So I thought today it would be fun because it's the three point contest and the dunk contest. So I was like, what if we took the people competing in both and put them against us? So I have one team on here that is filled with all the like all the guys who are in the three point contest. Well, actually no, the three point team is not all of them. It's just the top five just because I didn't want to have to run through like a rotation and stuff. The dunk team only had four of them. So I added Terrence Roth. How this is going to work. I'm going to play a two minute quarter game. First half with team dunk second half with team three point and we will see who wins and you're not actually going to hear me like it's not going to be a live commentary uh i'm going to be talking a lot about just like the dunk contest in general some of my predictions but i want you guys to first of all right now give me your prediction for the dunk contest and the three point contest and then decide who is going to win this challenge who is going to be the better team when put together that is your guys's job i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in a second okay so here we go guys and i'm not i'm going to be honest with you guys right now the gameplay is just kind of going to be on in the background. I will at the very end probably touch on who won. Uh, but other than that, I'm not going to check the gameplay too much. Just enjoy that in the background. Once again, the first half, I'm playing with Magic. Second half, the Warriors. So, let me give you guys a little of my story with like the dunk contest. I'm pretty sure you guys have probably... It was the my favorite thing. A lot of like the All-Star games, like I remember in the MLB, the Home Run Derby. And I think they're just really, really awesome. But the dunk contest has slowly gotten less exciting. And last year was amazing. Last year was obviously the best dunk contest ever. I think a lot of people said, like, Zach Levine's dunks were absolutely crazy. I personally thought that Aaron Gordon should have won last year and that Zach Levine kind of only won because of the name, because he wanted to get it. I don't know if that was his second or his third in a row. I'm not sure. It is kind of disappointing that he's not in it this year because of an injury. That's kind of disappointing. But first, I'm going to be talking about the slam dunk contest. So let me quickly give you guys the names of people who are in this. It's Aaron Gordon. Derek Jones Sr., DeAndre Jordan, and Glenn Robinson the third. So I'm gonna be honest, Derek Jones Jr. and Glenn Robinson the third, I don't know a ton about those two guys. I can honestly say that for the bottom of my heart. I don't really know who they are. Like I, I would know them if I like I've seen them before. I've obviously heard the names and know who they are, but I don't know a ton about them. So for me, those two, they're like they're the wild cards in this. They could one of them could turn out to be the next Zach Levine. They could definitely win. I'm not saying that neither of them have any chance to win i'm just saying that do i do i want to sit here and make a prediction of one of them winning no because i really am not sure i'd say Derek jones jr has probably the better chance of winning out of those two i've heard some pretty good things about his dunking just from kind of searching it up on twitter and stuff uh, but i'm not going to be picking either of those guys then you have deandre jordan and aaron gordon so deandre jordan not my favorite center in the league, definitely not. So this isn't biased at all. Like, I'm not a big DeAndre fan. I do think it's going to be fun to have like a big center in this, but I think he's limited in what he can do. I don't think he's the most, like obviously he can dunk, but is he going to be able to fly as high as someone like Aaron Gordon? I don't know. I know he's going to be good. It's just, it puts me in a really, really tough spot trying to decide if DeAndre Jordan is a legit contender in this thing like I believe let me look at I looked it up his odds are eight to one so like there's the chance of it they're not really giving him a huge chance of winning Aaron Gordon is definitely favored I don't think he is going to be the one to do it I think it's going to be either Aaron Gordon or Derek Jones Jr. or Glenn Robinson I think DeAndre Jordan's going to be big hype I'm glad that he's in it because it makes it a little bit more fun to watch if it was Aaron Gordon and then three guys who were kind of no-name non-starters I don't think it would be as fun to watch but I don't think it's going to be the DeAndre. So I have to say, I think Aaron Gordon will win. But I'm kind of going to say something bold. I think it's 50 50. Like, I really, a lot of people are saying, like, oh, 100% chance Aaron Gordon wins this. He's amazing. He's obviously, he could wow and win this. But I just have this gut feeling that either Derek Jones or Glenn Robinson is just going to absolutely stud it up and destroy this whole competition. I don't know. That's my feelings for the dunk contest. If I had put my life on it, Aaron Gordon is obviously the guy that I would pick. But and I would I would bet a lot of money that it wasn't DeAndre Jordan. But those other two, they're kind of wild cards. Going to be a lot of fun to see what they are able to do and to see what kind of show they're going to be able to put on. So now let's go over to the three point contest. So I'm just going to name off for all you guys who aren't sure they, all the people that are in this. So we have Clay Thompson, Kyrie Irving, C.J. McCollum. Kyle Lowry, Eric Gordon, Nick Young, Wesley Matthews, and Kemba Walker. Highest odds are Klay Thompson, no doubt about that. Then it goes Kyrie Irving. It's pretty much, the odds are in the order that I said them. So I'm gonna talk about from the bottom. So Kemba Walker, absolutely amazing player. Really, really like Sean. I don't see him winning this. I, I know he's an amazing basketball player, but 
Is he going to win the three-point contest? I don't think so. Wesley Matthews. And I'm not picking who you guys think who most people are going to be picking. I'm kind of going bold, just so you know. Wesley Matthews, I'm not going to take him. Those two are the lowest odds. Nick Young, he's a rookie. Or no, 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 he's not. Oh my gosh, stop, 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 stop. Stop, TD Barrett. He's, I completely messed up. Forgive me for accidentally saying he was a rookie. Uh, let's move on. I don't think... I, Eric Gordon, I think he's going to do well. I really do. I don't think Kyle Lowry... I love the guy. I really do. And I hope... I think he's going to be like in the top two or three. I just don't think he's going to win it. He didn't do very good in it the last time he was in it. That's kind of what makes me tentative about picking him. Okay. then Now let me move on to the two and then I'll go to my prediction. Kyrie Irving. I don't really... I don't see it. I honestly don't. I think... He's a good three-point shooter. I, I, he's not going to win this competition, though. I can almost guarantee he will not. I'm, I'm making one bold prediction, and if, he, if I'm wrong, you guys can comment back on this video and be like, TD, what were you doing? But, like, I don't see him winning this. Clay Thompson, he's going to be a finalist, but my prediction is CJ McCollum. That guy is a three-point beast, and I just figure this is... I don't want... It's not his to lose, obviously, because it's Clay Thompson involved, but I think... He has a very legitimate chance of winning this. I think he could surprise a lot of people tonight with his ability to hit threes. I think if if anyone that's not Klay Thompson is going to win this thing, I think it will be CJ McCollum. So that is my prediction for the three-point contest. And there's one more contest uh, that I was going to quickly talk about um, just in this video. Well, well, we're here because you guys are watching the gameplay anyways. Uh, the skills challenge. So it's Isaiah Thomas, John Wall, Devin Booker, Gordon Hayward, Anthony Davis, Porzingis, DeMarcus Cousins, and Nikola Jokic. I am gonna go with this, is, this. I don't know if I love this. I'm going with Devin Booker. I, I just, I really, really like that guy. I think he's gonna do a lot better than people think. John Wall is gonna be great. I just, he's, and he's definitely got a really good chance of winning just because he's so fast. But, oh, I'm so, because Isaiah Thomas is the favorite by far. I wanna take him, but I'm gonna go with Devin Booker. That is my bold prediction. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As you saw in the gameplay, I'm not 100% sure if it's over yet. Uh, the, the team with the three-point shooting won. It was a lot closer than I thought, though. I think the height had something to do with that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. God bless, and I will see you guys next time.